Tonight, more delays for the I-10 Mobile River Bridge project as the state looks for the money to pay for the $3 billion project. Now, the state recently took what it called a 60-day pause on the project to find ways to combat the ballooning expenses and seek more federal funding. In the best case scenario, construction would have already started on the I-10 Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. But now no one can say when the state will break ground on the shovel-ready six-lane project that aims to end gridlock at the tunnel. The timeline is, is indefinite right now because of the inflation and rising interest rates. The cost went up so much that uh, we just couldn't start without federal aid. Project costs have soared, estimated now to be between three to three and a half billion dollars, nearly double ALDOT's annual budget for the entire state. ALDOT says it recently had what it called fruitful meetings with senior federal transportation officials who encouraged the state to apply for a low interest federal loan, known by the acronym TIFIA, for 49 percent of the project. ALDOT has asked for this process to be expedited, but there's no way of knowing right now when the feds will respond to the request or if it will be granted. When we met with them in Washington and they told us that um, we didn't have to sell them on the merits of the project, that they understood that. Um, uh, we also know that we're shovel ready. We're one of the very few very large uh, projects uh, looking to be built in the country that's ready to break ground. Uh, if we were to receive any, any one of these uh, uh, indication that we're going to receive a TIFI loan, um, uh, indication that we're going to receive a mega grant or a grant through the bridge infrastructure program, uh, any of those would probably be the catalyst to get kicked off in earnest. Eastern Shore MBO Chairman Jack Burrell says there's no getting around the reality that this could mean a year-long delay for the start of construction. As much as it pains me to say that, 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 is, that is correct. Tolls will eventually cover the cost of the project and be eliminated once it's paid for. Burrell says they're committed to keeping them affordable, roughly $40 a month for commuters. It would be really, really easy to say, well, the cost went up 20 percent. Let's just raise the minimum toll that, that we promised by 20 percent. But we're not willing to do that, and ALDOT is not going to do that. We're not going to do that to our citizens. We, we stand firm on that. ALDOT is unable to set a timeline for construction, but is optimistic federal funding will be approved this year. Last week, all nine members of Alabama's congressional delegation signed a letter expressing support for the project to the U.S. Secretary of Transportation.